Hey guys, welcome back to Alexi's Journeys. Today I'm going to review my iPads um, of how they are, how the functions, and so I'll try to be technical as I can. Uh, and uh, the comparison between my iPad Air and my iPad Pro. So my iPad Air is iPad Air 3. I bought it in 2018, I guess. It's, more, it's already 3 to 4 years. So yeah, stay tuned guys. So I'll go with my old iPad, which is an iPad Air 3 first. So iPad Air 3 is the third generation of iPad Air. So this is the box, how it looks like. It's, yeah, iPad Air, the whole box, you know. Um, I, uh, iPad Air, I, uh, uh, this one is a Wi-Fi. Uh, 256 gigabytes, the highest gigabytes in the in that generation. I think it has like 64 and uh, 256. Okay, so inside, of course, it has its charger and the power adapter, and it's capable with. Do I use cable? use Apple Pencil Generation 1 just like this this is the full box of how it looks like it has like a this thing you know that you take out and inside and I've got the charger pot here which I left it at home and the tip okay I'm not sure whether uh, Generation 2 provide me that extra tip, but yes, I've got it for Generation 1, but also I can use that in Generation 2. Now, let's go to my newest member of my Apple products, uh, my iPad Pro M1. So this is the box of iPad Pro. Apple logos everywhere. This one is the logo of the thing. And the back is like this. So I got it. Um, iPad Pro 11 inch third generation Wi Fi. Uh, same memories, 256 gigabytes. But this iPad Air can go up to 2 tetras. Uh, starting with 64 up to 2 tetras. Okay. And the iPad Air, sorry, iPad Pe Apple Pencil Generation 2 box looks like this. So, Generation 2 can be used with iPad Pro. Uh, I think it was which model? 2018 model where they start putting the face ID in the in the iPads. Uh, you have that iPad Pro, uh, iPad Air 4, and the iPad Pro M1s, okay? So inside, it's the same. Yep, I don't have any extra head. That's it, so yeah. Let me keep this properly. So those are the boxes and I've been, I mean, my iPad, I don't really use like, you know, a lot, a lot. I use it to mostly do notes and uh, notes, video editing, 
watch movies, that's it sort of things. I don't really play game also, but yeah, I think 256 is actually way more than enough to have it. So now, let's go to the hardware part, guys. The difference of, the, of, of those two iPads. Like I said, I'll try to be tech also. Anyways, I'm back again. Uh, don't mind my poor baby because I, have, I haven't changed my case yet. So I'll go with Air first. Um, this is my iPad Air. Oh, it's already broken. It's still new. You know, I got it as a rose hole because I really love the color. Uh, it has a switch. Box. You have a jack for, for headphones. Two speakers. They still use lightning. Charger. And you have a finger screen touch. Um, touch ID. Touch ID. And the logo itself. And this is the power button. And the volume button. Uh, this is 10. 0.5 inch screen. Okay. Um, Wi-Fi 256 gigabytes. Okay. Um, Thailand's device. Thai device. What else should I go for? Let's see the battery percent. Also, I cannot check the health of in, in this. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. I have 77 songs. I have 518 videos, 2,687 photos. I have 59 applications. The capacity is 256, and the available is. 112.52 so still have a lot left in this iPad still can be used but it's a little bit slow sometimes the camera is very bad in this so this is the pen this is the pen and you can take this out to charge it at the back of the iPad as well so yeah let's see that's the iPad Air third generation. The the fourth generation of iPad Air is kind of look like Mac. Hey, sorry, iPad Pro. Okay. Now, last but not least, to my newest member, iPad Pro. Oh wait, I forgot one thing before I. I go, I, um, you have a camera, it's only a tiny spot, this one, and a selfie camera right over here. Anyways, um, back to my iPad Pro M1, 11 inch screen, you have a selfie, mer a selfie camera here, right here on the top, and you have a camera at the back, uh, you can put the generation 2 pencil here on, on the top like this. Uh, you, you, you have four speakers, you use type C charger, switch here with a face ID. Okay, um, so it's very fast because it's used the M1 chip. So, um, I have a Pro 11 inch third generation Thailand model, a Thailand device. I have zero songs, six videos, eight pictures, 26 applications, 256 gigabyte capacity, available 227.19 gigabytes. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you have face ID, which is good. Very, very fast. Rate is pretty nice. 
So, um, well, if I want to go more technical, let's see. So I'm going to compare iPad Pro 11 inch 3rd generation and iPad Air 3rd generation all together. So 11 inch screen with uh, for iPad Pro, iPad Air you only have tempered 5. M1 chip with the next generation Ural engine, but for iPad Air, you only use A12 Bionic chip with Ural engines. It can goes up to 2 terabytes. This one only has 256 gigabytes. You have 12 megapixel wide and 10 megapixel ultra wide cameras. Uh, for iPad Air, you only have 8 megapixel wide camera. The front has 12 megapixel for iPad, iPad Pro. True depth camera system with ultra wide. But for the iPad Air, you only have 7 megapixel with uh, FaceTime HD camera. Type C connector, suppose Thunderbolt or USB port. Uh, lightning connector. Uh, for the cellular, iPad Pro uh, M1 can receive 5G, but where else? For Air, you only have 4G. Works with Generation 2. For iPad, for Air, you can only use the first generation. So, yeah. So the display is liquid retina display. For air, you only have a like retina display. 11 inch LED backlit multi-touch display with IPS technology. 10 inch diagonal um, LED backlit multi. Okay, they're all same. But they only have this. Um, iPad Pro only have two colors, silver and black. We call it midnight black, right? For iPad Air, uh, there were black, silver, and gold, rose gold. So there are three colors. Mm. So battery power and battery life. iPad Pro can last up to 10 hours of surfing on webs or Wi-Fi or watching movies or up to 9 hours using web and cellular data network. For iPad Air, it can last up to 100 hours serving net, web on Wi-Fi or anything. Same, same thing. Okay, um, you can charge with a computer system, USB to computer, and power adapter. Yes, that's okay. Uh, no, uh, keyboard, uh, this one is for Magic Keyboard. So, uh, Magic Keyboard Smart uh, Keyboard Folio is for iPad Pro. And for iPad Air, you can only use the Smart Keyboard. Uh, the connector is like here. Three dots. Not sure whether you guys can see it or not. There's like the three dots around here. So yeah, video recording, 4K, but uh, iPad Air only have 1080 with HD recording. So audio, four speakers, only two. Security, uh, face ID with true depth uh, recognition for your facial recognition. You only have Touch ID and second generation fingerprint, you know, sensor around here. Siri all the way to all the iPad products. So yeah. Anyway, so I hope this is like tech. I, I I try to be more technical as usual as I can be. You know, there are a lot to go. Um, I mean, you can check out the detail part in the website itself. And yeah, so that is me reviewing uh, between these two.
Of course, iPad Pro is way much better than iPad Air. iPad Air is for those people who doesn't really play games or they do use it for day-to-day -day life. You know, not too much work. Then this will survive. But if you if you are like for graphic designs and stuff, I recommend you to buy an iPad Pro. If you are just normal user and you want a little bit better than uh, iPad generations, you can go for Air. Air is the best choice for you because uh, you know new iPad Air generation four can it's look exactly like iPad Pros, but only with one camera at the back. And you can use um, Apple Pencil Generation 2. So Apple Pencil Generation 2 connector, like you can just drop it like that, and you get the like a thing here, pop top. So, anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please subscribe, like, share my videos, and or if you have any ideas for uh, for me to do any kind kind of videos comment down below. If not, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.